Nobody, nobody cares for me. Ay, 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 ay. I'm well aware my mic is on. Nobody cares for me. YouTube is online. Cares for me. Twitch is a little slow. Ay, 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 ay. Expected as much. Don't worry guys, I will have some actual music on in a bit. For those of you who are aware how my live stream works, there's always a little five minutes at the beginning for tests and beeps and stuff. And uh, so far so good, it seems, touch wood. And everything is working normal because if we all remember the March 10 live stream oh my god <laughs> oh it went to hell fast <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh, quick highlight that was not present on the stream itself, but I found out after I managed to get the archives from Twitch to upload them on YouTube. There was no sound recorded. The entire thing is mute. So at least you don't get to hear me get a friggin' heart attack from my mom dropping my printer... <laughs> dropping my printer uh, door on itself. It's super funny because she was actually trying to be so quiet and it failed in the most slapsticky way. <laughs> and she was like, oh no, I ruined everything. Uh, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's somebody on Twitch. Everybody is live. We still got a couple minutes. Now, hopefully today, I'm just going to refresh my Twitch real quick. Hopefully today, we won't have any bots. Because as we all know, bots suck. And it, even if I had money to buy followers, would you really think I buy followers? I need real followers, okay? <laughs> Live excellent. Oh, yeah. Be excellent to each other. Uh, today's Pretzel Rock uh, quote. Inspirational. That's the word I was looking for. I've had a really bad week, okay? Today's Pretzel Rock's inspirational quote is, Nothing worth earning was ever easy. Well aware. Thank you. Well, since everybody is inside due to obvious reasons that I apparently can't comment because then YouTube is going to be all <laughs> uh, Hopefully you'll get to watch my stream. Of course, life is not going to be any more different for me because I'm home all the time, every time. I'm trying to work. Two minutes. Man, it's really quiet so without any music at all. At least get that started. Eventually. Oh, and my keyboard was disconnected. course because the chat is not on. The song that is playing right now is Neverbound, original mix by Modix on the album I Am Modix. And honestly the album cover looks like Anakin Skywalker with a Terminator eye. <laughs> Da, 
Would you like less if I took off the... Not really, huh? Uh, my mouse is still giving me trouble. Non-ergonomic trouble. So I'm not a happy camper. Thankfully, when I draw, I mostly use my tab mate, which is actually super nice on my wrists. live oh well just gonna move some stuff around real quick Because the volume is actually decent on the music, it's probable that the video will be temporarily muted on the Facebook archive. All right, super, 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 getting another sip of tea, which is Earl Grey, of course, because Star Trek. Let's get the show on the road. Does sound like <laughs> like it's the NES, it's the NES sound bites, but it reminds me of a game I have on my Commodore. <laughs> oh, calm down! Piece of wood fell in the wood stove, made a big metallic bang.
Oh no. Oh no. Of course. Battery's dead in my tablet. <laughs> It's back, but it's struggling. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go check something real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we're not in trouble. I can still draw without the tab mate, and it still has some sort of juice. Uh, Tony just joined us. Hello, Tony. So I just sent a text to mom to bring some back. Coco just showed up. Hello, Coco. And thank you for the taco. As you can see, I'm busy drawing, 
and found out we're really low on batteries and my tab mate is struggling a little bit, so yeah. At least it's not at the level of bullshit as with the Mario a Day live stream. That live stream was absolutely cursed. Everything that could go wrong went wrong and then it threw me a curveball and the archive is completely mute. go that should do it keep this here obviously I'm kind of smiling and all that right now I was rather ticked off <laughs> I had worked so hard on making that fish look good and he was just like well we just flip it on the other side like you've been anal all week <laughs> about food presentation and I tried to apply what you teach me and then you go around and destroy my freaking fish <laughs> It's supposed to be cooked when it's flaky when you uh, cut it with a fork. And when you're used to cooking a lot of fish, sometimes you can just tell by the eye. By eye not by the eye, because some, most of the time the fish doesn't have its eyes on when you cook them. But still. And I knew, for a fact, that this trout that I was cooking was ready. 
it had the correct color and consistency. I didn't even need to poke it with a fork. I mean, I'm from a seaside town. I may not know much, but I know my fish. Oh, I adore fish. Never enough of it. Oh, mom just joined us. Hello, mom. Just in time to watch me draw your husband. I wouldn't know I never tasted sea urchin. Or eel. Now there's supposed to be uh, batteries in mom's office drawer. I do not have time to check right now. But if it comes to pass, I will just throw up the uh, technical difficulty screen and go look. Oh, well, that's good. I love trout and salmon. Ooh, goo. I also like goo. I need to try it, see what happens.
Fun fact, I can't draw forks for some reason. Have a spork. <laughs> I've had breakfast, and I should have eaten something before the stream, but I'm not really super hungry during lunchtime for some reason. Which actually worked in my favor, because Mom usually isn't hungry for supper, and Dad won't start cooking until she's hungry. And then I get cranky if I don't have food at the precise current time. So I just eat whenever to ensure that I stay in a good mood all day, pretty much. for the record these are not grill marks these are like really cheapy scale pattern thingy because I was cooking on a flat grill flat grill. <laughs> it takes the guesswork out of flipping a fish, you know? <laughs> and you gotta be careful staying in the pan. The entire grill is the pan. I can just flip, no problem, no stress, no anxiety. Okay, that sounds weird. <laughs> That's the reason why in the first panel I'm staring so close at the fish because it was open and emptied. That's how I could tell it was cooked on the inside. No 
hope we don't have a uh, electricity hiccup today. We had a tiny little bit of a snowstorm yesterday and we had a hiccup. Thankfully I was not playing Dragon Quest because I think if it had corrupted my save file I would have cried. Though not as much because as I mentioned before on the second playthrough I actually know what I'm doing so I'm actually kicking ass. <laughs> and uh, working on my characters differently. Okay, save, tiny, tiny break, and then we're going in for inks. Should at least zoom in while I take my tiny break. <laughs> there. Up close and personal to fish. Just gonna go check the wood stove real quick. Enjoy the pretty music. And I'm back. If I actually put the right color, there we go. Almost forgot.
<laughs> but you still saw that it was a hairnet. settings are probably all over the place because of course when we had the electricity hiccup yesterday I was only watching YouTube on my uh, my switch so it's not like I lost anything important I always do in an, uh, an extra save when I leave the uh, my working area but sometimes settings will get resetted in the uh, clip. That's why every time I install new brushes I actually have to shut the entire thing down so it remembers that I installed the new stuff in case of something like that happening. Or else I have to reinstall the brush and rearrange the settings all over again. The only thing it never sticks on is on uh, The line settings, look at the brush shape. Now normally they should be different. This should be heart shaped, this should be star shaped, this should be ribbon, you know, the usual. And it doesn't matter how much I try to change them and do the usual change them and shut down clip so it remembers, it will never remember shit. Oh, I never had that to begin with, so don't worry about that. Now, if you want to talk about sanity losing events, you should have been there for the Mario the live stream. <laughs> Holy jeez. What a clusterfuck that was. Oh dear, is your phone okay? Just gonna go check this message real quick. Where's my mouse? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> and here I was saying I didn't want any bots on the live stream. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing after this live stream. I'm reporting your ass. Just got a, a note on the Vine Art. And I thought, oh, if I'm lucky, it might be a commission. Nope. Do you want real sex dating? 
Here, only proven girls. <laughs> there are no fakes here. Oh, you sound absolutely fruitful and real and existing, bot. I'm gonna report your ass so fast when I'm done here. Because <laughs> my notification only said hey. So, it could have been a real person that I actually want to interact with. That might give me money. <laughs> For it is glorious. And especially imaginary. If bots could listen, because I like both, I lack both the money and penis necessary for your services. <laughs> Same goes for bots trying to get me to buy followers. Yeah, but if you have more followers, you'll actually make money. Yeah, but I need real followers, not people to boost my numbers in the hopes that somebody's doesn't notice the scam and asks ask me to be an actual ambassador for something because I don't know if you know but I had a little boost in the views on Instagram lately and I had two people try to contact me and be an ambassador for their brand and I'm like you're just you're just trying anybody that hits a certain spot in the algorithm because your makeup companies or fashion I am neither of those I'm a comic artist currently wearing an entire Mickey Mouse PJ set you want me to embassade something have me embassade art supplies please I would love that not because I didn't try when some of my favorite brands asked for ambassadors. Besides, it's obvious with these kinds of uh, emails that they're just mass email e emailing people hoping that someone will bite. Like, if you really took a... Yeah, or Pepsi, exactly. Pepsi, if you're listening to this, if you want me to be an ambassador, if you want to sponsor me, go right ahead. Like, my blood type is Pepsi right now, okay? This live stream not sponsored by Pepsi, but if they want to sponsor me, I am not stopping them. It is, in fact, highly encouraged... I will not stop you, Pepsi. That's a first. 
Well, I don't know if I have anybody on Periscope, but I, ex I have exactly one person on each channel I'm streaming at right now. Picarto, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Say hi in the chat! If you're about asking me for sex or uh, buying followers, go die in a fire! I refuse to be polite to people who don't exist. <laughs> this also applies to the empty Facebook accounts that try to friend me with certain criterias. Like, they're, I assume, conven conventionally handsome for my age bracket, but they really look too old for me, for my tastes. I'm not saying I like them young, I'm just saying if you look even a little bit like my dad, buzz off! <laughs> always pretend they got like this supposedly high-paying job like you have this high-paying job and then you're somehow stuck in another country and you need my money to get out <laughs> no <laughs> like the latest one they always have the super empty Facebook account with the one or two photo And they're of exotic descent. And they're supposedly rich. And they're lonely. The last one actually had the divorce. Divorced on his uh, profile. And not much else. <laughs> I think I'm asking for too much. Like, don't be a scammer. That's one. this and I'm remembering like a ridiculously long time ago was probably still in the 80s 
Well, look, I'm borderline 40, I'm 37. I'm well aware the 80s is now a very long time ago. <laughs> if only technologically speaking. And I remember my dad asking me, like it was obviously like 1989 at best, 1989, 1990, 1991, around that, yes we are. And <laughs> my dad had asked me to write the menu for the restaurant. Because for a long time, Uh, Leonard's restaurant, Leonard being my grandpa, my dad's dad, was a, a literal family business. When uh, my grandpa died in 1991, I think, uh, the restaurant was then given to Uncle Ron, I think, and then to Uncle Kenny or Uncle Derek. And then to my dad, and then again to Uncle Derek, and then again to Uncle Kenny. And I did the entire menu on that matrix paper on my... with the print shop on the Commodore 64! <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the file still exists somewhere. Because I narrated all of Pappy's... Commodore 64 stuff, and I have all his diskettes, so it's probably somewhere. I had also made, like, a tiny starter... Starter kit, I should say, on Newsroom, which I know I have because you can't miss Newsroom's box, for my uh, little cousin... Susie, because she has to borrow my copy of uh, Final Fantasy VI. Three for us Birkins. And I had written down the lyrics to the opera. And uh, how to get started and stuff like that. And she still managed to m mess it up and delete my amazing save file where the game had been beaten by Mike's, my brother. And that save file also had an amazing bug that I had encountered that gave me 98 gem boxes. And she deleted that because apparently at 12 years old she couldn't make the difference between file A, file B, and file C. So that amazing bug is gone. And what the gym box does is uh, when you equip it, it makes all your spells be at the cost of 1 MP, including Ultima. So imagine, I had 98 of those, I have 14 characters in the game. Ugh. And it was a super random bug too, because I actually know where to go bug the game. But, the results are going to be different every single time. Uh, I didn't cry, but I did try to eat her. Because <laughs> then she looks, she looked at me with a tee hee 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 No, you're 12, you're smarter than this, come on. And I know, for, whoops, wrong hair color. And I know for a fact she's smarter than this, because as an adult, She's now studying law. So I know you're smart. Come on!
Oops. Well, I think I'm hearing feetsies upstairs. And now we wait to see if mom forgets I'm live streaming. Ah, nope. She remembered. I don't hear her try to call me or ring the doorbell. Good job, mom. Oh, thank you very much. Uh -huh, now you're looking at the live stream. <laughs> That was mom, everybody. Say hi to mom. I'm trying to lower her live stream anxieties because she thinks by me asking her not to scream at me from the top of the stairs, it means she's not allowed to exist while I film. And I'm like, no, you're, you are. Just... Don't scream, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> because when she screams, I jump. <laughs> and when I jump, I also scream. <laughs> and then you guys have to listen to that. <laughs> you just brought me some batteries and I owe dad money which I will give to him after the live stream because I actually have the money. This is what happens when I get paid, folks. Stuff gets done. Once again, I have a coffee and a Patreon, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <coughs> if you like my stuff, please consider supporting me. So I can keep doing more stuff for you guys. I mean, you can also commission me. I will draw almost everything. On a case-to-case -case basis. As long as it's legal and I have no moral problems with it. Coco. Because there are some things that I'm not willing to draw. Like, I don't mind not safe for work. But like, ask me to draw adults, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, if I could, like, not draw celebrities, that'd be nice. You know, the moral gray area of drawing real people naked? Eh, you know. And then after that, when you fall into... Uh, cartoon area, then it gets it gets kind of touchy for me, because obviously there's some cartoon characters I do not want to see naked. So please and thank you. Now, zombified, however, that doesn't bother me at all.
Oops. Now I got batteries. I am happy. course now if I had to improve on the tab mate obviously it would be chargeable wirelessly with its own stand I mean that would make more sense wouldn't it Well, that would be a perfect self-portrait, because I am indeed, in real life, so squishably cute. And smug, that's true, and smug. <laughs> I'm very smug when I want. Like, it's, it's not often I will look at my art and go, ugh. It happens, but it's very rare. Most of the time, I'm very smug about how well a piece turned out. Like, I'm still smug over Skull, uh, Skull Jerry. That uh, skeleton girl I drew a little while back, and I am inspired to do more art of her. There's just some stuff I need to get done first before I go back to her. Like, I had an idea for a painting a while back. And I, ha I have the canvas, but now I want to use it for a Skull Jerry painting. <laughs> because she's just that cool and uh, inspiring. I don't know why she's inspiring, but she's inspiring and I like her a lot. I'm glad I came up with her.
Oops. Oh, look at that. Ignore the timer. And yeah, there's an event on the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, and uh, I'm fishing. <laughs> I think I'm almost there. I still need a couple of things before I hit the seaplane. I know, right? He's usually really good at it. And he was like, well, we just flip it on the other side where I didn't cut it up. It doesn't matter. I was like, it matters to me. I work super freaking hard. <laughs> oh, I was not a happy camper that day. What's wrong with the music? It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Make up your mind.
did nothing to the world and that went ahead and ruined the aesthetics. This is not working at all. I'll draw it myself. Kitty just joined us. Hello, Kitty. Like, it did end up pretty anyway, but just on one side. And that was my issue. Because I had worked so hard on it.
And I believe we're done for today. Almost. Almost. Forgot. To... The very important part of me freaking the frick out. amount of work I put in that fish, I believe I'm justified. Now we're done. Last minute overview. Just gonna add some more sweat drops. <laughs> there we go so of course I'd like to thank you guys for watching and of course special thanks to my patrons uh, Dancy and Marianne J your continued support is highly appreciated and uh, I hope you had fun watching I'll see you guys next Sunday at 1pm EDT and I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.